Hey there guys, Man in the Molly Vest here, and welcome to a well-deserving, well, unbagging slash unboxing on something that I've been waiting on for quite a while. Now, before we get started, let me get to the backstory on why this showed up now instead of its original date. Now, as in the title, this is the Fire, Fire Force Ventures uh, Rhodesian Brushstroke Combat Gear. Now, the backstory behind this is, is that the company is based out of Cal Calgary, Alberta, if I think, if I got it right. Basically, their idea was that they were going to have Rhodesian Brushstroke pushed out pre-orders during that time to be able to get themselves out of Canada and move themselves down somewhere in uh, Texas in the United States of America. So they tried to get this rolled out and, well... Let's just blame it on the pandemic, as we all put it. Literally, they were screwed from every which way, from the left to the right, up, down, front and back. There wasn't really much that they could do. They were getting screwed over by the uh, shipping companies. They were basically being tugged around by the manufacturers. And honestly, well, their own Canadian government pushing them around as well. Because they already had enough flack enough as it is with, uh, <coughs> you know, mainstream elements in that area. So, yeah, basically they were not being uh, treated very well. But, nonetheless, they worked through the holiday weekend last year in December. They were originally supposed to have these out by September, but that deadline was never met. And, well, now I finally got it. The shipping label literally printed out like a week before Christmas. They finally got the stuff in, and then they shipped it out. I didn't see this. I was expecting it to, this yesterday, but it just finally decided to come in today. Uh, it's a day late, but you know what? Any of us that purchased this stuff were very patient for it. So, honestly, I'm glad that it's here. Am I expecting all of it? We'll see, because I had an operator hat shorts, combat shirt, uh, tactical shirt, and pants. So I've had five items ordered from this. Am I expecting to get all five? No. I'm only expecting maybe like two of the three items. So, enough blabber jabbing. Let's get right into it without actually cutting it open and damaging something in the process. So, let's get to it. First item here, I got an extra large. It's provided by Shadow Strategic. I think these are the pants. Combat shirt. Shorts. And that that's it. That's three of the items so far. I'm still missing, I think, the regular shirt and the hat. So, this is part of my order. I think I'm going to expect the rest of it at some point in time. So, let me get these open and show you the actual stuff. Alright, here is a correction of all this stuff. I do have the assault shirt, the operator shirt, and the field shorts right here. But, let's go over each individual item, I mean. This is awesome. This is a literal replication of history right here with the Rhodesian brush stroke. I'll show you the field shirt because this one has the most uh, powder on this. Pockets, slanted, they've, show, if you watch their live streams, they go in a lot more detail. You do have your regular inner pocket here, but you also have a, another one within it. And that's pretty awesome. And you can also, as he demonstrated, you can close the one inner pocket Leave this one open, so let me show you a closer look. One pocket, two pocket. And if you wanted to close one, the other one could be left open. Awesome, really like them. I have to put this on and really try it out, but definitely has a cry position, a style to it. Of course, here is their operator shirt with a Mandarin style collar. And it's a quarter zip. 
Same style of pockets. So let me see. Yep, same style of pocket as on this one. And of course, the shorts, as he discussed in one of the live streams. Go over to Fire Force Ventures on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and some of their other social medias that are not so restrictive. The shorts do have the, you know, extra large Canadian style button on here. It is a, actually a zipper one, so I definitely approve of this. Honestly, I can't wait for it to heat up and wear this, these shorts, definitely in the summertime. So, alrighty, actually, let me try on one of these pieces of articles. So, let me actually switch out to that now. Alright, so I got the operator shirt on right now. Also, these ones have like the similar style of uh, true spec, the uh, Velcro. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, the wrists right up here, you can adjust them to close them up or open them up. Fits pretty well with the Coyote Tan, which that's what I was kind of worried about. But you know what? With the three color style of this, it works out pretty well in my opinion. Shirt definitely feels good. I can't wait to get some patches for this for both sides. I really hope companies start opening up more and have patch, the, uh, patch colors in Rhodesian brush stroke. Because that would be pretty awesome to see that on the market. I would like to see a Rhodesian brush stroke uh, reverse American flag, honestly. But I do know that a company does make the, a Rhodesian IR American flag. So I may have to look into getting one of those. But otherwise, for missing two items, this is some really good stuff. I can't wait for them to be able to get themselves moved down to Texas and really get a foothold down here in America and away from all of the restrictions up there in Canada. Can't wait for them to do that. That business all also has a few Rhodesian uh, veterans within their uh, structure. So it's awesome just to have like a literal modernized piece of history from way back in the early 60s to the 70s. I highly approve of Fire Force Ventures. So, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. Really can't wait to do another camouflage test of this once I get the pants and the hat. So, I have been the man in the Molly Vest. It's time to gear for the next overview slash review or whatever comes my way. And I'll see y'all on the front lines.